Um, hello, so today continuing on um, September daily challenge. Um, today's problem is find if path exists in a graph. Um, so what this problem says basically is we get a graph with n vertices and we have um, the edges in an edges list. Um, and the vertices are from 0 to n minus 1. Um, and we get two nodes, source and destination. And the goal of the problem is to find if there is a path from source, source to destination, right? Just if there is a path. If there is a path, we want to return true. If not, we, we want to return false. So this is a classic application of um, graph traversal, um, right? You can use either GFS, BFS, or even um, or even um, union find to see if they are in the same connected component because if they are, that means there is a path, right? So that's the idea. Um, so let's do it with BFS um, just to, to practice it a little bit. Um, so what do we need? We just need to do our BFS traversal starting from source and as soon as we find destination, as we are traversing, we should stop and return true. If we go through all the traversal, the path of from that source, and we don't find it, we return false, right? Pretty straightforward. So um, let's do that. Now, wh what we want to get is first get a, a, a proper graph that is like, so right now we have only a list. What we want is to have um, keys to basically a node to a list of its neighbors, right? List of neighbor nodes, right? Um, because that's easier to access when we are traversing, right? We want to get for we want to get all neighbors in graph of a node, right? So we want to get traverse it like this, and so for that we need a list. Um, okay, so let's do that. Um, so we will use a collection here um, of that is def that defaults to a list, right? And then we want to go through the n the edges here, and um, um, okay. So uh, this means that there is an edge between u and v um, in both directions. So we want to add v, and then we want to do the same thing, but this time for v um, to u. Okay, like this. Um, so that's the first thing. Um, now we also need to start our traversal. And in BFS, what we want is we want to have a queue, right? We want to add from the back, right? So add from the back and get from the front. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So add from back, or you could reverse it, basically add from the front and get from the back. But we want basically what we want is for the first in to be first out, right? That's what matters. Add from back um, and get from front. Okay. And so to do that, what we want to do here is have a DQ, a double-ended queue. So just because we want to do, do insert from both sides and we want to start from source, right? Because what we want is to find um, a path from source to destination. Okay. So we'll do while queue, and we want to get from the front, so left. Um, so this gi gets us a node. Um, now you may say, why do we need to get from the front? Um, if this is harder for you to understand, you can just do, because BFS is level by level, just traversal level by level. Um, if that's harder for you to understand, you can just use levels and each time in each traversal, add to next level, right? And then once you traverse it all level, then copy next level into level, right? And basically, that's what this FIFO is allowing us to do because we want after traversing all of the current level, then we want to traverse the next level. And that's what um, adding f uh, first in for first out is getting uh, is getting us uh, here. Um, and so you could either use two lists if that's easier to understand because then once only once you once we traversed all of the current level, then we then we go to the next level, right? So that's the idea here. Um, Okay, so we get the we pop the node, and now we also need visited so that we don't need visit a node multiple times, right? So that would be just a visited set like this, and when we extract a node, we consider it visited, so we add it. Um, and now what we want to do is go through the neighbors in for that node, and if the node is if the neighbor is not visited, 
then we want to add it but we want to add it to the back because we get from the front so that we we, we do the same process I mentioned here so we want to append neighbor right um, now here we want to check if we got to the destination because if we did we are done and we need we found the path and we need to return true okay um, otherwise here once we explore all the nodes connected to source and we weren't able all the paths connected to source and weren't able to find destination that means there is no no path and so we want to return false um, and that should be it right so let's run this um, let's submit um, okay so that passes test cases um, yeah so that's pretty much it for today's problem um, yeah you could try it with do an exercise to try it with DFS and Union find um, uh, yeah please like and subscribe and see you in the next one bye